Hey guys, it's Sean with EMF Audio. I've got an Ermagerd V2 18 prototype, uh, and I'm going to demonstrate the importance of using proper size wire. This does apply to power wire as well as speaker wire, but we're going to be using speaker wire to kind of make the point because it's not really talked about that often. So what we've got, um, I've got two sets of wires running off the amp. This being 8 gauge, and it is copper. And this is 16 gauge. It is also copper. Copper is a better conductor than aluminum. Aluminum will heat up faster um, when you put more current on it. So you'll kind of see what I'm talking about with this. But these are, in both cases, are copper wire. Um, I just soldered the end of this so I can uh, use it on the test bench in and out without it constantly fraying. But uh, if you're unfamiliar with how these wire up, so this will make a little bit of sense. Um, there are two terminals. This is the same coil, and this is the same coil, and then over here we've got the same thing, um, same coil, same coil. So it is a dual voice coil. It is not a quad coil, but this isn't wired in parallel. You see the same size jumper and everything here. This is all 16 gauge wire coming off of our America prototype that we have down here. And uh, here we're going to see how much power. I'm going to take it up to about 1,200 watts. So we're going to leave it right there. And I'll show you uh, what happens to the wire. see how quickly that wire has heated up in one minute. Went from room temperature to over 100 degrees with 1200 watts on it. You can see when I started it was actually about 700 or 800 watts and then went up to 1200 when I went up one more click. And you see it's slowly cooling down when I shut it off. Alright, now I've changed out the wire to 8 gauge. Same configuration in parallel. Uh, wire is irregularly long for the jumpers. Didn't feel like cutting it just for this video. It was from scrap that I had. So now we're going to show the 8 gauge in the same scenario. See, so we're starting at 69 degrees. For just over a minute, we got it up 74 degrees or so, 
78, uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. So it only went up a few degrees uh, over the course of a minute versus 30 degrees using 8 gauge wire versus 16 gauge wire on 1200 watts or just under 1200 watts. So what did we learn here? A larger gauge wire will accept way more current than smaller wire. These are things you should already know. The difference between 16 gauge and 8 gauge is a lot, even at 1200 watts. And this is wired in parallel on a dual two, so it's gonna give you more current. If you had it wired in series, it would have less current, more voltage, it wouldn't heat up as fast. Uh, if you're running down a half ohm, quarter ohm, something like that, it's going to affect that even more on your wire size. But even on 1200 watts, 16 gauge wire gets hot. You may not hear the difference uh, in, in the end for how much power loss that you're gonna have, but that wire does heat up, as you saw in the video. So, remember to use a proper gauge speaker wire. You don't have to use eight gauge on everything, but 1,000 watts, 1,500 watts, you probably wanna be larger than 16 gauge. 12 gauge will work fine for any of those. 12 gauge will actually work uh, pretty well even higher than that. You have to consider the length of the wire as well. These lengths are about six or eight feet down to the amp. Um, but you don't have to put eight gauge on everything. And you certainly don't need to put four gauge on pretty much anything. Um, but 16 gauge, probably want to leave that for your uh, six, 800 watts, maybe a thousand watts uh, or mids. Other than that, you want to be in a larger size.